today we're going to talk about all of my favorite products that help me with my Tourette's. Let's go. Welcome to Bone Itch. My name is Luca and I make videos about what it's like to live with Tourette's. If you're interested in learning more about Tourette's, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload at least weekly about different topics surrounding Tourette's. <coughs> A lot of the content on Tourette's on the internet is about the quirky side of Tourette's, the funny side, the cutesy side, but the reality is that having Tourette's or another tic disorder is not a walk in the park at all. It's exhausting and especially with motor tics repeating the same movement over and over and over again that really wears down your body. <coughs> So if you have a tick disorder or your child has a tick disorder and you're anything like me, you'll have scoured the internet looking for some product, some stuff that can help with Tourette's, but you also find that there's not a lot out there. <clears throat> and of course, everyone's Tourette's is different. So everyone's needs are going to be different. So it makes sense that there isn't that much stuff out there specifically targeted at Tourette's, but it's still frustrating, right? <clears throat> However, over the last couple of months, really, I've acquired quite a few products that help me alleviate my tics, alleviate my pain that I get from my tics, and I kind of want to show you them because I think that this might help others out there as well. <clears throat> Because I'm using a lot less painkillers now, and that's uh, a good thing, so yeah. <laughs> of course, most of these products are specifically for what I need, the, the, the things that I struggle with, and, and your tics and your needs might be different. So even if these products are not exactly what you are looking for, maybe they can give you some inspiration of what to look for or, or what search terms to use and, and find something that will help you. <clears throat> I've listed all the stuff that I'm talking about in this video in the description box. And if you're interested in, in buying or looking at any of these products, and you use the, the links that I provide in the, in the description box, I'll get a little kickback from that. So that's a great way to support the channel. Um, of course, don't feel... <clears throat> I'm not trying to pressure you into buying anything, of course, but, but if you want to buy anything and, and you want to use my link, that'd be greatly appreciated. Another way to support the channel is to leave a like and leave a comment because the algorithm likes that. So. Anyways, let's start. <clears throat> now, I have all this stuff just piled up here and I, I'm trying to think of a way to start it. Uh-oh. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start with one thing that helps me with, with one tick that's, that's been bothering me a lot. It's the stuff I do with my jaw. I bite and I chew and everything. So I got this little thing. It's like a biting necklace. You can chew it. It's kind of like gummy type of thing. And it really works. I really like it. it it's kind of tough. You can't like bite through it. I have these like, what's it called? When you grind your teeth, that little like mouthpiece that you get from the dentist. And they told me that there was no way I was going to bite through it. And within a week I broke it and that was it. But this one I've been chewing on a lot. Uh, and, and my jaw is, is strong now, believe me. And, and I still haven't bitten through it, even though it's usually marketed at, at like a, a baby's toy for, for when babies are like teething. But they're made specifically for adults as well. But I think it's the same thing. So yeah, this one really helps. So if you have a biting tick, this is a good thing. However, I don't always use it 
because when I when I use it too much, I'll I'll kind of reinforce my chewing tick. So I only use it like late at night when it, I just can't stop and I have to bite on something. I'll I'll have this handy and and it's kind of fun and it doesn't look too bad either. So yeah, all the products I have are in black because. I don't know, that's my style, right? <laughs> uh oh. <clears throat> Next thing. One of my most painful ticks is everything I do with my hands. My hands hurt so much. They are, they are bruised. I can't straighten my pinky anymore. It's like constant moving with my hands. You'll even hear it in the background of, of my, the audio of my videos that there's this clicking and ticking and that's just my hands because they never stop. They hurt. Uh oh. <clears throat> and I tried many things. I had like bandages around my, around my fingers for, for days, but didn't really like that because I could kind of peel them off. And uh oh. <clears throat> so the first thing I bought was just like normal fingerless gloves. You know, these ones, the woolly ones. They're really nice in winter because after a while you, you, your hands, when they get cold and they hurt, that doesn't really help. And it kind of softens the, the blow when I press my fingernails against the inside of my hand. It, it's like the skin is all thick and it bruises and it bleeds and this kind of stops it. So that's nice. It, isn't very nice when you use your, uh, when you work on the computer a lot, like I do. So it's not perfect, but it's nice. And it's a very simple solution. It looks kind of cool. So yeah. So that was the first thing I bought. Uh oh. <clears throat> but then I had a, a genius thought, right? Because as everyone probably, maybe, I don't know if everyone did this. Maybe it's just me. Let me know looking for specific things to relieve my, my finger ticks. I couldn't really find any. And then I thought about arthritis types of products. And I found these things and these are so cool. They're like finger, they're not splints, but they're kind of marketed that way. They're just little like leg warmers <laughs> for your knuckles. And they're kind of tight, but not too tight. And they just kind of restrict the movement that I have in my fingers. I have 10 of them and usually I'll wear like five at a time, just kind of mixing them up, like one finger with, one finger without. And it really helps and I can still type with them. And yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make my ticks worse. I think that with many things, but when you start putting something on a body part that ticks a lot, that it will make your ticks worse. But with these, I don't have that problem. And they're really cheap as well. And they, they work really well. So honestly, this is a lifesaver. And if you don't have like ticks in your fingers, but maybe, I don't know, in your wrist or your elbow, your knees, I advise you to look at arthritis stuff. And there's a lot out there and it's usually not very expensive or something that helps with hypermobility. So just something like simple that just kind of stops the, kind of restrains the mobility of, of that joint that hurts and just see if it works. Uh, for me, this has been <laughs> such a cool thing. I shared it on some of the Tourette's Facebook groups and many people were like, oh, what is this? So I, at that point I knew I had to make a video about that, about it. But yeah, I only had them for a day then. I kind of wanted to know if it would stick, if it would still work. And yeah, absolutely. And I can type with it. I can do anything with it. And I really like him. <clears throat> but even with wearing these, because my hand ticks are, you know, so, so severe, my hands, my hands will still hurt at the end of the day. They will kind of swell up. So I got these things. They are like, <laughs> like fingerless gloves for specific, specifically for arthritis. Jesus, I can't speak. Ooh. They have, I think, copper in them. They're, they're not too tight and they have like little grip thingies. And they are really nice. They really like alleviate the pain in my hands. I even sleep with them sometimes. They're really light. I really like them. And yeah, they're kind of easy to, to wear. I, I sometimes wear them when I just wake up with pain in my hands. I'll just wear these. Sometimes I'll put the, these ones over them. 
but they can that, that can get a bit too tight sometimes so i have to be a bit careful but yeah that really works so again arthritis products they that's my big tip really for for pain so this is just to alleviate pain and, and kind of restrict your movement <clears throat> I'm all flustered because I just spent two, uh, two hours trying to get this camera going because I have a new computer and my audio didn't work and oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, this was all more like about trying to alleviate ticks and alleviate the pain from motor ticks. But when it comes to vocal ticks, it's me. <laughs> I don't know, you could wear a ball gag or something i don't know what am i talking about i don't know but what what i the thing i use for my vocal tick is or vocal ticks when i have vocal ticks i don't know if everyone has this but i have to hear myself like i have to it has to sound a certain way because i live in a house with very high ceilings right now it kind of echoes and it sounds right so, so to stop myself from from ticking i just use my headphones these are not noise cancelling headphones, they're just normal like school candy crushes. They're not that expensive anymore, they're wireless, they have great bass. <laughs> and that really works, especially when going out, going to the supermarket. Sometimes just having a podcast on, sometimes with very loud music, but <clears throat> it just gives my, like the part of my brain, I think like the auditory part, I don't know. I'm making this up as, as I'm as I'm speaking, but that's how I kind of think about it, is that the part of my brain that does the vocal tics also also does like music and the podcast and, and talking and everything like that. So when I just distract that part of my brain by listening to music or by listening to a podcast, it kind of distracts my brain from wanting to do a vocal tick. So that's why I use these, these headphones and I don't really use noise suppressing headphones because I get, I get kind of like skittish when I can't hear my surroundings too well. I mean, PTSD. <laughs> so I don't use those, but these are great headphones and they're really nice. They are not that expensive and I usually don't have expensive technology because I will break them because of Tourette's and because they're not too expensive, I can replace them if I need to. So yeah, that's the ones I use. But of course, sometimes I don't want to wear headphones or I don't know, I have music on. And <clears throat> I used to wear earplugs all the time, like the, the gummy ones, you know, I don't know, the foam ones, but they are great when, you, when you're sleeping, but not to wear during the day, they look kind of silly and I don't know, they don't really stick, they don't really stay there where they're supposed to be. <clears throat> so, and I've seen these like ads on, on social media every single time and I thought it's a scam, I don't know, I don't understand it, but then a friend of mine who has, who is autistic and is very sensitive to sound bought these and told me they're actually great. So I got the the loop earplugs and when you look at their website you think they're like I don't know very technical spectacular or anything but they're really simple they're just the normal like the pieces they put on normal headphones like in-ear headphones with a little ring on it and they look kind of cool so you have like a little ring in your ear like immediately <laughs> it's so good so it looks, it looks all right. And they really, they really stay put. And you have like all different sizes of these, you know, the, the, what's that called? The earplug thingies, the little container. So, I mean, <clears throat> the problem I always had with these in-ear headphones is that after a while it gets kind of, it starts to hurt your ears, right? Maybe I have really small ears. I don't know how it works. <clears throat> but you have like all different size it, sizes. And yeah, I really like them. They're really simple. They're not that expensive. 
I think they, they kind of overhyped them on their website and in their ads and that, that stopped me from buying them. But now that I have them, I really like them and they're really simple and they don't completely block all sound. They just kind of reduce the, the worst sounds and that keeps me from being overstimulated and because I live in a very busy environment, loads of cars and, and honking and sirens and screaming and after, especially after a long day <clears throat> when I'm feeling kind of ticky and my ADHD medication starts to wear out, I get kind of tense and every sound will make me jump and that can trigger a tick attack and just wearing these earplugs just calms me down it's i'll go outside like after a long day find out that, that i forgot to, to buy something from the shops and normally i'd hate to go out to the shops at the end of the day i always go early in the morning but i have to go out and just the sounds and everything will be way too much but i pop in these simple earplugs and it's like everything just calms down and and it's so cool it's so good yeah i really recommend those actually yeah or other earplugs of course if, if there are other ones that you really like so yeah in general <clears throat> i think there are many things that that can help but for me the market for arthritis products was like an epiphany <laughs> especially because they're not that expensive and there's so much stuff out there and they don't all look like like medical aids or anything so there's so many things there are more things that i kind of want to try out so if you like this type of video let me know and um, i might get some other stuff try out some other stuff uh, i kind of like experimenting with these things and yeah are there products that that you found that you think really helped you how did they help you please share that in the comments because i think a lot of people might benefit from this it <clears throat> having tics and having Tourette's or another tic disorder is exhausting and painful enough and every little thing that we can find that might help i think is so important so yeah please share it if you have any great ideas if you have any products that really helped you that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you thought this was at all helpful please leave a like if you think anyone else could benefit from knowing about this stuff please share it please share this video with them that's it i love you all so much i'll see you next week okay bye